Hey folks, we're seeing an uptick in magnitude 6 earthquakes after going a fairly long time without having very many. We had four in the last four days, and two of them have been along this western subduction zone of the Americas that we told you to watch out for, the one in Chile and the one a couple of days ago in Mexico. In replace of the earthquake swarms we're seeing in the Virgin Island region, we're seeing a slightly larger one-time quake events, including a couple of fives in the Dominican Republic, one last night. In the United States, there are hundreds of homes destroyed from those tornadoes in Alabama, and there's an avalanche in Vail, Colorado. There's actually also an avalanche in India, and this is the fourth avalanche in the last four or five weeks since, uh, since that cold wave really came uh, through there and dumped more snow than they're really used to seeing. In the southern part of Australia, you're going to find out if uh, you folks can go back in that water. The blue algae testing should be done today. And on the south, uh, southeastern part of Africa, Malawi is really getting pounded by that tropical storm. Uh, it's finally moved off of Mozambique, but uh, Malawi is really flooding. Folks, they're expecting to be rerouting planes uh, that are going around the poles this morning due to these solar uh, explosions set to hit this morning. In case they didn't notice, all of yesterday we were in a very serious solar radiation storm. But we do have a coronal mass ejection expected to hit this morning. Uh, taking a look here at the HARP data, folks, uh, you can see pretty much on the magnetometers and the rheometer uh, that we had a pretty good jump there with the residual effects of the last one that hit. And if you can look here on the induction magnetometer, you guys recognize these PC1 pulsations indicating that the, uh, the magnetosphere has entered repair phase after the, uh, after the disturbance. But folks, we do have that one coronal mass ejection expected to hit this morning. It is moving very, very fast. It's very large. And luckily, the solar wind telemetry from ACE is pretty much flatlined. So for those of you looking uh, to figure out when it hits, it will be very, very easy. The, uh, that chart will show it very well. But coming over here and looking at the sun, folks, we didn't have any ejections last night. We just have that dark coronal hole uh, down there at the bottom. It's pretty much pointed right at us now. A couple magnetic filaments going on. That's the news. Be safe.